So here we have a strip of magnesium band uh, from earlier and we put that in a contraption. Now we need to flame this with a Bunsen burner but we used a high temperature lighter which also worked. You can also dim the lights if you want because you are going to produce some serious brightness. Now at first magnesium has to heat up. It doesn't catch fire immediately like a piece of paper would. Remember magnesium has that oxide skin that needs to get hot enough to break through. But once it reaches ignition temperature the magnesium strip ignites and burns with an intense white flame. Now the light is so bright that it illuminates the whole room if we would have darkened it a little bit and it would cast sharp shadows. It's a white light rich in ultraviolet rays. In fact, it is painful to look at directly. The reaction is blazing hot, easily reaching temperatures of 2000 degrees Celsius over 3600 degrees Fahrenheit. For a few brief moments, the magnesium burns and then as it consumes itself, the flame subsides. Now what is left? The one shiny strip is now a crinkly, brittle white ash. That ash is magnesium oxide, the product of magnesium reacting with oxygen in air. If we touch it after it cools, it's powdery and stark white, completely different from the metallic strip we started with. We just witnessed a combustion reaction that looks like this, releasing a ton of energy in the process, the heat and light.